Hey, this is the chair guy. Today I'm going to show you a simple exercise to help you link the chords to the chair shape, which will really help you play over chord progressions by making you play much more efficiently. Because you're not going to be coming down here to play in E minor, coming up here to play in A minor, coming down here to play in B minor. In fact, for today, we're not going to leave this purple chair, or at least not much. And it runs from the 5th fret down to the ninth fret. And what we're going to do is we're going to play over a supposed 1-4-5 chord progression. I will try to find a backing track on YouTube and put a link in the description because I really want to support all the great people that make these backing tracks. And this is something that you can use once you get the idea. A 1-4-5 is a really simple chord progression and it's used in a lot of blues. All it does is it bases a chord on the first, the root, the E, because we're playing an E minor, the A, which is the fourth, and the B, which is the fifth. And what's great is these are all minor chords, so it makes it pretty simple. So you're going to be playing in E minor, A minor, and B minor. And to make things even easier, I will try to find a chord progression that's all seven. So in other words, like E7, E minor seven, E minor seven, A minor seven, B minor seven. Because if we do that, we can pretty much stick completely to this purple chair here. Because when you're playing over seven chords, it's really good to use the root and the seven. I mean, there's many ways to do it, but it's always good to at least say hello to that seven while you're playing over the chords. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that it's going something like E minor, A minor, B minor. And you're going to play using the root, the E, and its seventh. And for all of all three of these chords, it's going to be in the same place. You're just going to use your ring finger and your index finger. Come up to A, down to B, and you're just going to use those two notes to play over the different chords. So in other words, when you're playing over E minor, you can play. When you're playing over the A, over the B, And remember, you're always wanting to go from your root and at the end, come back to the root. So you can do this kind of any way you want. Just use your imagination and just sort of imagine that the chords are playing. Because we can also resolve to this E right here instead of this E. So, Practice that for a while because for the moment you're just trying to learn how to put your fingers in the right places for playing over E minor, A minor, B minor. And then once you've gotten that really good and your fingers know what to do, you can put in the backing track and either, I'll, I'll try to find one that actually shows the chords up on the screen which will make it a whole lot easier. And hopefully some of you already have your Spark amp, so you can do that using the Spark, uh, the Spark app, which also will show you the chords. And then you can just follow them just like that. And next week we will do something different.